Hey guys, so in part one of our video, you guys learned about alleles, you learned about genotypes and phenotypes, and you learned how to find the heterozygous, homozygous dominant, and homozygous recessive genotypes. So for the second part of this video, we're going to go ahead and finish solving this problem using all of that information. And so to do that, we will be using our dear friend, the Punnett square. So as you can see, I've added a couple things to our board. I'll talk about this part here in a second. But this is our good friend, the Punnett square. Okay? So in this video, I'll explain how we can use our Punnett square, who, by the way, is your new best friend, to solve this problem up here. So let's through the, read through the problem one more time. It says, in pea plants, green peas are dominant to yellow peas. Two heterozygous pea plants cross, what percent of the offspring will be green? All right, so just to recap, we looked at this first sentence here. It told us about the different ways that pea plants can look, or our alleles. And we wrote our alleles here as abbreviation, and we gave a capital letter to our dominant trait, a lowercase letter to our recessive trait. All right, so moving forward, we're gonna look at what do the two parent pea plants in this problem, what information do we have about them? All right, so let's look back at our problem. Um, really, the, the part that we need to focus on is our second sentence, where it says two heterozygous pea plants cross. You guys have already completed checkpoints one and two. So I know that you know what a heterozygous genotype is. And once again, we have two heterozygous pea plants. That means both pea plant parents are heterozygous. So that's what I'm going to use for these blanks here. So I know one parent is heterozygous. That's a big G, little g. And then the second parent is also heterozygous because our problem says two uh, heterozygous pea plants cross, okay? So this X here just means cross. And this is where I write my parents' genotypes, information I have about the parents, all right? So next, I'm going to spread out this information on my Punnett square. So to solve this problem and find the percent of the offspring that will be yellow, I'm going to use this Punnett square. So to do that, I'm going to take this first genotype here, and I'm going to write it across the top of my Punnett square. So that's a big G and a little g. Then I take my second parent genotype right here, and I write it across the side of my Punnett square. Big G, little g, okay? So here's how these Punnett squares work. This big G, I call him the king. And he is the king of this entire column, which means since he's on top, I drag him down into each box. I do the same thing with the little g. He's the king. I drag him into each box. But now I have this big G, little g on the side. So a similar thing happens. This big G is king of the sides of this box. So I put a big G here, drag him over, put another big G here. Then I have this little g here and I drag him across as well, all right? So here's what this box means. This box means that if these two parents had four little baby pea plants, they would have these genotypes, big G, big G, big G, little G, big G, little G, and little G, little G. So let's actually write this information out to the side here, all right? So I'm gonna switch back to a green marker. So, for big G, big G, I have one out of four baby pea plants 
have that big G, big G genotype. So that's 25%, one out of four. All right, for big G, little g, actually, both of these are a big G, little g phenotype, genotype. It does not matter what order they go in, as long as a big G and a little g are together, they are the same. So we have two out of four. That equals 50%. And then last but not least, little g, little g. One out of my four boxes are little g, little g. That equals 25%. Hint, if you want to check and make sure you did it right, these numbers should add up to 100, which they do. All right? We are very close to answering the problem. Once again, this information means that 25% of these, the offspring of these two parents have a big G, big G genotype. 50% have a big G, little g genotype. And 25% have a little g, little g genotype. Our question is asking, however, what percent of the offspring will be green, okay? So my next step is to say, which of these genotypes produce green pea plants? Let's take a look back to our alleles. Which of these alleles is dominant? I really hope every single one of you is yelling green in your head, or maybe even actually yelling it out loud in class, because that's right, green, this capital G, is dominant. So wherever we see that capital G, that means those pea plants will be green. So let's see. These pea plants are green, and these pea plants are green. So here's what we have to do. We have to add 25 and 50 percent, which means the final answer to this question, 75% of offspring are green. Okay? If this question asked yellow, what would the answer be? I really hope you're saying 25%. Yellow is the recessive allele in this case. We only have one option here that will give us the yellow phenotype. As a reminder, this one will only be green. It has this big G and big G is dominant. So that means 25% are yellow. That makes sense. 25 75% add up to 100% of our kids, okay? So this is how we solve a Punnett square problem. I've shown you how to solve this first one on your checkpoint. You actually have a second Punnett square problem that you need to set up and solve and then show Ms. Harris so that she can check your work. If you have questions, raise your hand.